Hi guys, LC Thief here, and this 95 rated Team of the Season Marco Verratti player review. I decided to review this card first from the League 1 team because he received quite a big boost in some important stats that makes him go from a relatively unusable player to someone that a lot of people could start in their teams. Also, some of you might be looking at this guy as a way of getting a strong link into some of those more expensive PSG players. Anyway, this is a team I started him in with Alisson in goal. Robertson, Ogbonna, Maldini and Carvajal in defence, Sané, Lineke, Verratti, Kante and Adama Troy in midfield with Fikir in attack. He's 5'5 five five with medium attacking and high defensive work rates, he's right foot and has a 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. Looking at some of his in game stats he's got 94 attack positioning, 99 vision short passing and long passing, 98 agility, 99 balance and composure, 95 ball control, 97 dribbling and interceptions, 95 stand tackle, 96 slide tackle, 94 stamina and finally 99 aggression. Moving on to the traits page he only has the one which is flair. So to begin I'll start with his pace which on the whole was just okay. Because of the type of position he plays, 8 to 1 pace isn't necessarily bad, but in my opinion, if you're going to start this guy on your first team, I'd probably use a character style to give it a boost. His acceleration being 85 is good, and it allows you to have that quick burst of pace, which is often essential for someone in his position. However, his slower sprint speed means if you're trying to sprint forward to an attack or sprint back to stop an attacker from a counter, then you might see it being a bit of an issue. Next is his dribbling, which for me is the best thing about the card. Combining 98 agility with 99 balance means that Verratti can turn and shift his body weight instantly, which is great in jockey situations. This is more important when you're one-on-one -on -one with high agility attackers, as not only can you follow their direction, but if they do manage to get past you, you can turn to chase them down, putting yourself back into a position to defend. On the ball, he was always in control, no matter what pass you sent into him, he could always bring it in without taking a heavy touch. And this keeps possession for your team. He's very easy to dribble with, and because of his high agility, he can switch direction very quickly, should you need to take the ball away from an incoming tackle. Having this sort of ability as a midfielder is very important at this stage in FIFA, because it can often get very crowded in the centre of the pitch because of the types of formations people run this year. His attack positioning was great in game, depending on where you chose to play him. As a CDM, this isn't that important, because he probably won't get forward as much due to him playing a defensive role. But if you plan on using him as a centre mid, then you'll be able to take advantage of this start. Verratti knew when to make runs to give me an option in a building attack, without always compromising my defence. This is great because you don't want them going forward all game, but making selective runs can really help you get into scoring positions. Verratti's passing ability is also up there as one of his best attributes. For me this card acted as one of those players who transitioned the defence to attack a lot. Having great passing is essential for a player in this position, as they're the difference between starting an attack to score, or constantly getting countered and putting your backline under pressure all game. Fortunately his 99 vision short passing and long passing doesn't disappoint, and although most of the time you'll use him to make simple passes, he never really made a mistake by sending a bad ball. He always knew how to play the pass to not only allow it to reach the player, but also to avoid any opponent that might be in the main passing lane. His short passing is perfect and he never sent a bad pass that was either too powerful or too weak, that he got intercepted or put my receiving player in a bad spot. His long passing was also just as good and he could send both lofted passes and chip through balls across the field straight to your player's feet, even if they're running down the sideline. His 99 composure also ties into his passing and dribbling ability, it means that under pressure he does well to stay in control of the ball without taking a heavy touch and he can still easily pass the ball off accurately to a player. Like I mentioned in his dribbling, staying composed in the midfield is vital. Defensive this card is amazing and he's basically another centre back in midfield. I'd say that his best comparison is probably Kante, who I still use at this point in the game. His high defensive work rates means that he stays back instinctively, which stops him getting caught out by a counter. Verratti managed to get interceptions consistently every game because of how well positioned he can be, to cut off passing lanes and drift around attacking players. The key is that it allows enough space to make the player look like they're open, but keeps close enough to even intercept the ball once the attempted pass is made, or pressure the player after taking the initial touch to win back the ball. His stand tackle ability also helps with this, as he does sometimes automatically tackle the player to win the ball, and he can do this without giving away a foul, which is down to his defensive ability. His stamina has received a massive boost from his previous cards, going from a high 70s to a mid 90s. This is a massive positive because for most people, a defensive midfielder role is a demanding position. Having great stamina means that a player in this position can do their job all game long, without needing to be taken off, freeing up substitutions for more impactful roles. 99 aggression is great to have on a defensive player, as they always go into tackles to win the ball the best they can. It's part of what makes him so defensively strong and good at stand tackles, as you don't need to do a whole lot sometimes, the game makes a tackle for you. It also counters one of his weaknesses which is strength, because he physically fights for possession of the ball. I'd much rather have high aggression and low strength than have it the other way around on a defensive type player, as it's a lot more effective in game.
He does have a four star weak foot which means he can pass and shoot on either side. He did use his left foot quite a lot when I was playing with him as you don't always have time to switch it onto his stronger side. So having four star is important for any position really but more so for central players. He also has four star skill moves which is great as it allows you to do most of the skill moves in the game. Although from a defensive point of view this might not be all that important, I'd still rather as close to five as possible for any position. Now onto the negatives, the first one being his inconsistent shot. I managed to score three goals in the six games I played with him, and two of them were actually quite good shots, but he also completely mishit a few shots for me that he'd hoped to at least get on target or to force a corner. I think the problem is the fact he doesn't have any high end shooting stats, they're all just fairly average. What you see in a lot of defensive players with a decent shot is good long shots and shot power, but unfortunately you don't see this with Verratti. His free kicks are also fairly terrible, and you can't be your main free kick taker if you want to score goals from them. For most people, midfielders are the people with good free kick accuracy, but I'd still avoid using him because it's very difficult to get enough power on the ball to challenge the keeper without sacrificing a lot of accuracy. His overall aerial ability is probably his biggest weakness as you might expect to him being 5'5". Five five. I'd be surprised if you were multiple headers with this card because he's often the smallest on the pitch. Most of the time you probably won't need him to be good in the air because goal kicks often go straight to your centre backs, but from things like corners you might notice it being a bit of an issue. It also affects his reachability when it comes to tackles, interceptions and blocks, and sometimes he'll just be short of making a good defensive play. The last negative I noticed with this card is he doesn't have the best strength, which isn't helped by his small frame. This does get countered by his high aggression and balanced stats, but on occasion you will notice him being pushed off the ball if you don't pass it off in time. Fortunately, a lot of players use weaker attackers in this game, so you won't have to worry too much about facing off against stronger and taller strikers, but if you play him in a centre mid-roll, align him to attack, then it's something you need to be aware of. So overall, I'm going to this 95 team in season Verratti an 8.9 out of 10. This card is great for what it's supposed to be used for, which is a defensive minded player with a bonus of elite level passing and dribbling. I'd say his best position is CDM unless you're using him as a defensive CM. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in future content, then please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.